Alright, this is a assembly guide of the loop ball calibration probe for the mist changer, uh, two changer system for Voron. And well, before we even begin, I do apologize for all the things that I have already pre-assembled here. A, a second take need, was needed and well, I can't exactly undo these work. Nevertheless, let's walk through them and uh, see what I have done. So the first is this piece here, which is just a uh, 10 millimeter sleeve bearing pressed into the top housing of the probe. As you can see there, pretty, pretty straightforward. The second one though is less straightforward. In down this piece, as you can see, there is two uh, three millimeter sleeve bearing, the same sleeve bearing that you will found can be found on the mist changer itself. But just press into place, and down here a magnet to attract to the two uh, to the uh, other piece that is will be uh, bolted to the back of the bed. Next on the back of it is a micro switches that is wiring up to a two pin connector for quick disassembly or to take it off the bed when needed and on the other end is a pair of 2.54 millimeter dupont pin that is uh, angled it as you can see there and lastly on top is a little slot for a m3 nut to just to be pushed in place uh, nothing special there of course there's a hole for the bolt to go through uh, and and that's it that's this piece this piece other piece here is just the bottom plate for the whole assembly to sit on and underneath of it is a uh, three magnets just press fit into place so that it will stick to the bed now and lastly there's there's this thing here which is just a 0.2 millimeter filler gate which got cut it into two and you actually don't want not gonna need this what you're gonna need is this top piece here which will fit right there on this slot here as so and it's very important that you keep this thing clean uh, of grease and any gunk on it because this is gonna be the piece that uh, make and break the contact between the two DuPont pin when they are pressed in place and with all of that, the next thing you need to do after, uh, once you have made uh, these three assembly is to first put the DuPont pin into the little two little hole that is have for it on the top housing, like so. And you will see them poking out on the other end there. Now it is worth noting that uh, for these DuPont pin, um, more pin exposed for the leaf to contact to is not exactly mean a uh, good contact because uh, they can these DuPont can sometimes be made come out of the factory a little uh, crooked in comparison to each other and just ex exposing them more of them like this just uh, amplify the error. In fact. For this exact pair, I have to uh, to just pull it back a bit, a little bit like that, for uh, the uh, connection to make, be made correctly. Now you just put this aside and move on to the next piece. That is this bottom housing here. And what you're gonna do with this is that you're gonna press some N35 magnet in there. Now before you fish out the uh, top magnet, you want to uh, take a little sharpie and rub it in like so, so that you know which face that is. And pull the magnet out, like that. And you need to stick it to the filler gate with that marked it, uh, face facing outward like so. Now you can take this and place it on the top housing like so. Then grab your bottom housing and slowly line up the magnet with that hole where it's supposed to be in. Careful, don't let the uh, filigator just flew off. 
and there we go that's the whole thing together before we screw it put any screw on this thing uh, grab your the a clamp like so and test out the connectivity between these two pins that's good and at this point you can start loading up the balls into this uh, probe and uh, yeah starting with the first one like that then for as for the reason why the probe is called the loop balls uh, you want to fill loop with uh, the rim of that ball with loop it is uh, important that you are a little liberal on the amount of grease you put here uh, and that is because it is the uh, surface tension of the grease in contact with the uh, balls that keep the balls in place and not falling off the, uh, the sleeve so anyway with that amount of grease you can now drop the second ball in there and I'll grab myself a kitchen towel because I know it's going to be a little uh, filthy I'll just press it down give it a few click making sure and it is at this point that you want to test the continuity again just to make sure that everything's still working as intended now once you know that the uh, uh, pin is making contact with the uh, filler gauge you can now wipe off the exit on, on the top ball there and notice here that I, I am intentionally spinning the ball around and what it all will also do is that it will draw more grease out uh, of the bottom half to and onto your kitchen tower and at some point it will just fall up like that but that is intentional because now you can actually have a visual check if there is any uh, air gap there and as you can see there is some there so I have to fill it up with grease again and there we go you want to repeat that process over and over again until as you can see here there's no more uh, air bubble in between the two ball and it's at this point that you can finally add just a little more and at this point you actually now want this top ball to be clean of grease and, and have the final drop in like so and lightly press it in place and with this this top ball will stay on even if you flip it around and upside down like you can see there and of course with all that wiggling around you might want to test the continuity of the probe again which worked well fine that's great and with that you can remove the uh, clamp put on the base and screw it in, in place from the bottom with two m3 by 25 uh, countersunk bolt There we are, and there we go. This is the probe uh, being played put together. Finally, grab your M3 by 30. It's a normal pin is fine. Put a little wash on it. And there, and there, like so. Then I'll tighten it down. Keep this loose though, because you need to. Uh, uh, it will need to be adjusted uh, uh, when you are at the printer, which gonna we're gonna do now. Here we are at the printer. As you can see, I had already run the other end of the uh, switch to well, any switch board on the controller is fine. I just leave it there for now. And this piece here um, is sh sh the, the making of this piece and this piece here is shown in the previous video where I uh, show how the notch is mount. Nevertheless, uh, yeah, you can go back there, there and see how that one is made. Uh, anyway, the way that it works is that you're gonna put this like thing here like so and push in place. But now you know. For 
we go around a bit to make sure that it is sit, sitting very still on the bed. And, here, and you can finally tighten this bolt. And there we go. Connect the switch. And that is your loop ball. Broke.